This is Total Telecom TV at the Huawei Mobile Broadband event in London. I'm delighted to be joined by Wen Tong, one of the eminent people at Huawei in 5G technology. It's very, very pleased to see you this morning, uh, Wen Tong. Just tell us about some of the benefits that are going to happen in 5G for, for operators and for end users. First of all, uh, 5G is the mobile network platform that can deliver massive capacity, massive connectivity, and it will deliver uh, 1,000 times more capacity and it will connect 100 billion of things. So in with this type of a network, capacity will be not a bottleneck. The network will, can perform with unlimited performance and the customer satisfaction. And you as a uh, end user and a customer will connect the world with zero distance anytime, anywhere. So that's the uh, proposition of the entire 5G uh, networks. Some of us are only just getting used to 4G. So what potential does 5G have to change lives? For the 5G, the operator do not need to worry about the capacity, the quality, and the latency of the network. They can create more uh, application and the service that is constrained by the mobile technology we have today as a 3G and a 4G. So in that case, uh, 5G will really open the door for many uh, new potential applications that we cannot imagine even today. Incredible, and, and will 5G replace 4G or will, will, it, will, will it evolve into 5G? 5G will not evo uh, replace 4G. 4G will evolve for itself for many decades. Uh, uh, carry on. 5G will be uh, a new design of the air interface and uh, the, uh, the network architecture, but it also coexist in combination with the evolved 3G, 4G, even GSM and the Wi-Fi. Okay, what are the sort of key drivers for 5G? The key driver for 5G is, first of all, to enable the network operators to handle or to cope with and to grow their business with the, the digital tsunami of the digital content, the, the, the massive uh, digital content in the, in the, in the mobile network. Uh, the second one is to e further expand the business into connect of the things. This is a new horizon that current mobile business yet to tackle and to start to tackle. But 5G will provide a right networking tools and the capability to enable that new frontier. And when do you think 5G will actually start? 5G technically will be, in terms of network and device, will be mature in 2020. The massive commercial launch of the 5G will be in the time frame between 2020 to 2030, but the pace of 5G deployment will be much faster than the 3G and the 4G we have seen today. Now, I feel today I'm, I'm speaking to somewhat of a veteran in 5G. Tell us a bit about how long you've been working on this and, and how long Huawei have been looking into this research. Uh, Huawei started to look into the in-house uh, program on 5G in 2009. Uh, then we have uh, also many other collaborations with the uh, university and other research, advanced research institutes such as uh, Harvard University, UC Berkeley, and Cambridge University in UK too. Okay, well look, thank you very much for talking to us today and giving us this insight into the future. Thank you.